254 imagine Thank you for staying with us on Y254 Updates. And if you're just joining us, we say that tonight we're talking about exactly what I'm holding here. Uh, blessed to be a blessing. This is a book written by one uh, Samuel Muinamo Asena. And tonight he joins us in studio to help us really understand what does it mean for him probably to sit down and write this book. I'm sure you had the, the intention of making sure that you inform people and you give us more information probably about blessings that we do not know. Talk to us across our social media platforms. That is at Y254 channel. You can also reach me at Patricia Murioki. Thank you very much, Sam well for finding the time to be here tonight and the first time when I when I really got this book uh, and preparing for this interview and, uh, and went through the topic just as it says blessed to be a blessing I just thought that many of us don't really think that we can be someone's blessing but you're going to be helping us tonight really understand all that but before we dive into the book probably to give us a very brief background about who Samuel is, where did he grow up, uh, probably where did he go to school, and all that. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Samuel Minamo Asena, as you have said. Mm -hmm. I was uh, born and brought up in Kakamega. I grew up uh, under the care of my grandmother, my maternal grandmother to be specific. Mm -hmm. uh, I lost my dad when I was barely two years old. Uh, six years later, my mother also went to be with the Lord. So the person who's really brought me up and uh, been there throughout my journey has been my maternal grandmother, okay. whom I celebrate. Um, as for school, uh, I was at Kakamega Township Primary School. Uh, for high school, I went to Mbale High School. And uh, finally, for my undergraduate, I was at uh, Moyo University School of Business and Economics. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let us now get into probably what brought us here tonight. Sure. Would you give us an elaboration for a viewer who is watching us tonight? Mm -hmm. Elaborate on the topic, blessed to be a blessing, and why you chose this uh, title for your book. Yeah. Um, blessed to be a blessing was uh, originated from uh, the book of Genesis chapter 12 uh, from verse 1 to 3. Uh, this is God speaking to Abraham and telling him that uh, I am going to bless you and uh, I'm going to make your name great. And then uh, as you go towards uh, the third verse, you hear him uh, turn the conversation on its head and say, and you will be a blessing. Through you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. So uh, the idea behind this book is that, uh, one, everyone is blessed in their own way, in their own uh, manner, in their own interpretation. Okay. Everyone is blessed. Uh, and what uh, we need to be asking ourselves is how can we make use then of that which has been given to us, of that which we have received, uh, to make a difference in the life of uh, someone else. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, the whole idea really behind the book. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how then do we, when we talk about blessings, how do we measure blessings? Can we even measure blessings? Because probably there's someone sitting somewhere watching us tonight and they're like, I don't really understand what you guys are talking about because most of the times we've uh, put a uh, blessing on probably being blessed with a good phone, uh, a good watch and all that. Would you tell us really, when we talk about uh, blessing, what can people look out for to really know that they are blessed? Uh, from the onset, uh, blessing is first a state of being. Mm -hmm. Uh, before you look at anything that would come as a manifestation mm -hmm. of those blessings, uh, the fact that you are is already an indication that you are blessed. Mm -hmm. To be alive is uh, in fact the greatest blessing we can think about because before you enjoy anything else, mm -hmm. you need life. Okay. And so uh, the thing is, we should not limit blessings to the definition of any particular group of people 
or uh, any individual or anything like that. Uh, our focus should be, you know, every one of us in our way and uh, in uh, the manner that we choose to look at it, God has blessed us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with living in the era that you're living in, especially with social media, you've talked about the fact that you wake up in the morning is a blessing. Yes. But not very many people really think about it like that. Mm -hmm. People feel like, I can only call myself blessed if I am driving the best car, and this is something that is with uh, pr um, the most young people now. Yeah. For those young people watching us tonight, mm -hmm. and that is a mentality that they have when they think about blessing, that it has to be something tangible, that they don't think even probably the clothes that they have, yeah. even though it's not a new pair of clothes, that that is alone is a blessing. Mm -hmm. What advice would you have for such people who have that type of perception? Uh, I would uh, look at it as uh, the way we have grown up probably without an, an, you know, an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Uh, with an attitude of gratitude, uh, you learn to appreciate every little thing that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, think about the time that we are in uh, and struggling with the COVID-19 and all that. Who would have thought that uh, we would be limited to, uh, our, our movement would be limited? You know, it's something you would take for granted yeah. otherwise. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you realize there's a curfew and you need to be in the house by a particular time mm -hmm. and that therefore means there are certain things you cannot do or you cannot engage in, mm -hmm. then you realize that uh, for you to have a healthy nation where there is no pandemic or anything as life-threatening as this mm -hmm. is such a big deal. So I would look at uh, encouraging young people to change their perceptions. Mm -hmm. Uh, to begin with where they are and what they have mm -hmm. before they shift their focus to what they are looking for. It's good to have a vision of uh, the kind of future you want, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, a vision should not be... Uh, the fact that you still haven't reached where you want to reach uh, shouldn't keep you from celebrating where you already are. Okay. Yeah. Uh, people watching us tonight really must take note of that. Celebrate where you are before you get to where that you want to be. You've talked about in the book, uh, you talked about making sure or learning and understanding to know how you can also be a blessing. Yes. So how can now people, how can we tap into our own blessing and now stretch out and mm -hmm. make sure that probably whatever that we are blessed with yeah. does not only get to benefit us. Mm -hmm. How do we stretch out and reach out to more people? Uh, there are many ways in which you can be involved. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you have uh, a skill set mm -hmm. uh, that uh, you're very good at, mm -hmm. uh, think about uh, people uh, from uh, less fortunate uh, backgrounds. Mm -hmm. uh, what would uh, it do for them if you took two hours in a week to go and share with uh, a group of them mm -hmm. uh, the details of your skill set mm -hmm. so that they too have an opportunity uh, to advance and uh, make something of themselves mm -hmm. going into the future. Okay. For example, I can, uh, if, if, if I can do piano, th mm -hmm. that's just an example. Mm -hmm. uh, how much does it take me, if I'm good at piano, how much uh, does it cost me to spare two hours in a week to go somewhere in Kibra and identify a few people and uh, teach them how to play piano, mm -hmm. uh, classical piano, for example. Uh, it might look like uh, a very little thing, uh, but the kind of doors and opportunities that would open for those people, you don't even want to begin to imagine. Mm -hmm. So it's not about uh, my, how much money I have in the bank. There's so much that I can still give even if I'm struggling financially. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And that's very critical for many of us young people to take note of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, in the book uh, on chapter six, you've talked about the blessing of pain. Mm -hmm. And I would like to quote some of the words that you've used, yes. or rather the statement. When you think about pain, it is difficult to tell how it would be associated with a blessing. Mm -hmm. How can pain be a blessing? What purpose does pain serve in our lives to be considered a blessing? Mm -hmm. How many people in this world 
or rather even people tuning in tonight, most people don't find it very easy mm -hmm. to think that the struggle, the challenges, and all those things that probably don't look right for them could be a blessing. Yeah. And we've seen people get so angry with others. We've even seen people get angry with God himself because of probably a certain situation. Yeah. So now, how now mm -hmm. do people watching us tonight or yeah. anyone who gets to watch this interview even later, yeah. how do they now take that challenge and mm -hmm. not only look at the negative side and know that at the end of the day, probably this could be a blessing, mm -hmm. just as your statement says that uh, pain can be a blessing. Uh, I would begin with the physical pain, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. uh, what would happen to you, and this is a question I ask in the book, mm -hmm. what would happen to you if uh, your nervous system went dead? Mm -hmm. uh, if you stepped on uh, a piece of coal or uh, on a hot iron, mm -hmm. it would be probably 30 minutes before you'd not that there's something happening to my leg. Yeah, because, because there's, there's no, no pain. Sense. Yeah, and you can't sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't you appreciate the fact that uh, that pain mm -hmm. has saved you from uh, losing your leg mm -hmm. or losing a part of your body? Mm -hmm. uh, that's physical. Uh, think about uh, experiences that, uh, the experiences that we go through mm -hmm. uh, in life. Uh, you're only able to advise people or uh, speak uh, from uh, an expert point of view mm -hmm. courtesy of some of the experiences that uh, you've gone through. Uh, I will, uh, how, however much I would love to talk about uh, the pain of childbirth, I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Only somebody who's been there mm -hmm. can uh, talk to someone else and tell them, you know, this is uh, how it feels. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is how uh, you go through this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So in that way, the fact that this person has gone through that experience, while they were going through it, it was very painful. Mm -hmm. But out of that painful experience, they are able to advise, to offer somebody a, 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 a helping hand, mm -hmm. you know, to offer somebody guidance mm -hmm. uh, to go through a, a similar experience. Mm -hmm. Think about, uh, this week I was just listening to someone uh, uh, talking about the story of Joseph. If somebody had picked Joseph from the pit where his brothers had thrown him, mm -hmm. Joseph would never have become the prime minister. Uh, yeah. The process was very painful. But the end result mm -hmm was uh, more than anybody could have bargained for, mm -hmm. more than anybody could have thought possible. Mm -hmm. So pain experiences, negative experiences, are a blessing because of where they take us, how much growth mm -hmm. we experience okay. as we go through that process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I hope that people really now get to understand or probably have adopted to a new perception or approach on how they look at challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, during the entire process of you writing this book, yeah. what is the greatest lesson probably that you got to learn about yourself during this process that probably you didn't know before you sat down and thought about writing a blessing to be a blessing? Um, one of the things that I would say is that uh, it took me quite some uh, discipline mm -hmm. and uh, focus to sit down and uh, go through uh, the first draft of this book. Mm -hmm. uh, let me let me tell you that uh, I finished the first draft of this book in 2016. Wow! But uh, I shelved it mm -hmm. uh, because I, I was like, uh, I, I don't seem to be ready to get this out there. I was mm -hmm. looking at how much money do I have, mm -hmm. you know, for everything that goes into publishing and mm -hmm. all that, and a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But then I made up my mind at the beginning of uh, 2020 mm -hmm. and I decided this book has to come out by May. Mm -hmm. And so if there's a lesson that uh, I learned in the whole process, mm -hmm. it's that uh, when you make up your mind to do something, uh, some people say the universe conspires uh, to make it possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is what I would say happened because uh, I was able to find support and help from very many people mm -hmm. to make this a reality. Mm -hmm. I would even uh, dare to say that 
probably I was in a better financial position in 2016 than, than in when two, I did this in 2020. Okay. Yes. So final thoughts, final comments on this topic because you wind up. Mm -hmm. What is your message to people watching us tonight? What do you get to leave them with? Um, I, I would say this. Uh, this is uh, what would be the summary of uh, the message of this book mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in closing. Mm -hmm. Uh, one, that you are blessed. Uh, secondly, that uh, it is possible to misuse and abuse the blessings of God upon your life. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, uh, is that there are consequences mm -hmm. for misusing and abusing uh, God's blessings. Mm -hmm. And finally, um, every blessing is meant to be a blessing to many other people. Okay. And anybody who uses their blessing uh, to touch the lives of others mm -hmm. is guaranteed of uh, eternal rewards. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Where can I get, if someone watching us tonight, where can they get this book? Um, they can order online mm -hmm. uh, on Amazon. Mm -hmm. You can uh, order a copy from uh, Amazon, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, soft or uh, uh, a copy. physical copy. Mm -hmm. uh, they can also reach me personally mm -hmm. uh, on 0774 uh, 776 413. Mm -hmm. I will just repeat that again 0774. Seven seven uh, seven seven six mm -hmm. four one three, mm -hmm. so they can reach me and uh, I'll be able to do that. Mm -hmm. They can also look for me on uh, social media. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook is uh, Asena Samuel Muinamo. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitter is uh, Our Someone A W E S A M O N E. Okay. At our someone, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Samuel, for finding the time to be here. I'm sure that if you've tuned in tonight, I'm sure you've learned a lot. If probably you didn't know that you can be a blessing to somebody, then you know it today and go out there and touch lives in whatever ways that you can. And you've heard from someone, it doesn't have to only involve money. Use your talents, use whatever it is that you've been given to make sure that you're prob probably being a blessing to someone else. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. My name is Patricia Moriyuki. Drive yourselves a very good night.